What is going on today guys? Welcome back. It is a beautiful day. We are not actually home. We have traveled down to Florida to come visit the guys at Suncoast. So uh, for those of you guys who know, we have been running Suncoast parts uh, in our transmissions for a super long time. You guys know we had some transmission issues in our first gen. So we are down here. This is my first time actually down here at Suncoast, but we are gonna spend some time down here, maybe uh, the next video or two, getting some cool transmission parts for the broken first gen and kind of doing a whole tour uh, and just kind of going through some really, really cool stuff. We might actually be building our own converter here, uh, but stay tuned guys, I'm not exactly sure what we have planned but it's about to be some good stuff here at Suncoast super pumped let's get this day started Alright guys, let's go get the tour. Look at this fancy showroom. Let me shut the door behind us. Keep the COVID at hand. Alright, we got Brad. Brad behind the camera. Gonna give us a full warehouse tour of Suncoast. There, there's like there's like a lot of square footage to go over here, isn't there? Yeah. I wanna say it's like 60,000. <laughs> Alright, so Three showroom. Dollars. Showroom? Do is we'll sort of start with the process of how things come in. So you'll send in your transmission, your core. What? Ends up there. So he cores cores come in here first? Yep. They get staged here. I feel like you could get lost pretty easily in this place. Then they get sent to tear down. right back here. Save all the good usable hard parts. Um, trash the stuff that's weak or useless. All the trains will get put down here, staged. Obviously a lot of 68 stuff going on over here. Then they'll go over here in our hot tank. Cases over there, parts over here. they'll all get put on a cart and sort of stage for our transmission builders. This is where 68s get built. Um, this whole area is just for pumps and valve bodies. It takes this much just because of the nature of the 68. So this is only 68. This is only 68 pumps and valve bodies. Wow. So the rest of them, the rest of the trains get built over on that bench. And then the balance of our transmissions are built over here. 
We're Robert building the forts. Usually Montana and Cherry here, building 47s, 48s. We have Allison's being built over here by George. So this is the uh, this is the this, this is the, the build room. Then these are all new units. New units. Uh, transmission stop. Transmission for days. We, we honestly, most of them go out per order. Um, they're usually not stocked because everyone wants theirs to be a little different and there's so many variations with the ears and stuff. Gotcha. So more core stock and it's only part of the course. Packaging. Packaging. Yep. Our own. Uh, these are all converters ready to go. Actually all these are converters ready to go boxed and ready to head out. More converters. Uh, this is our future converter um, build area. Oh gotcha. Currently it's this room. Converter build land? Yep. Over here is where all the hard parts are that they pick from. Um, this is where all the finished goods come after they've left the machine shop. Machine shop. You wanna walk through here? Yeah, we can walk through here. So, in this room we have six, six hosses. This one right here does a lot of our newer um, gas stators. It's a sweet little machine. So this is all. This is basically all our vertical milling that happens over here. Then we come on the back side. We start getting into our lathe. There you go. Howdy. We'll just sneak around the back here. 10 out, which we have a ZL1 out front. And over here is our, our lathe side of the shop. So we're currently we're making bolt together covers for our 10 speed. Ford, the Mustang, and the Z01 Camaro, which all the I'll, gas stuff. All the gas stuff. I'll I'll show you one of those outside. We're we're really excited to be working on some cool stuff with that. And then here's our two big multi-axis machines, the main packs. Making all the staters. Staters. Our V2 drums had great success. So here's the cover for our bolt together 10 or 80. It uh, reverses the flow and it uh, it ends up making a, a four disc where there was a factory single disc converter. On the gas stuff? On the gas stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Went from one disc to four? Yep. Wow. Here's some more of our bolt together stuff. It's bolt together diesel uh, welder. Have to get one of these in the, the race truck. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So this is our R and D bay. Uh, currently, we got the owner Ron's Steeda Mustang on there. So this is getting into some of the gas stuff that you guys currently are getting involved with, stuff like that. Yeah, we're going hard into the 10 speed stuff. Um, 10R80, 10L90. Um, and that all will translate into what's going to be coming in the new Allison and the Ford Super Dudes. Uh, the bigger version of what would normally be in this, but we're kind of going full race car on this thing. So the gas, uh, the gas side is what vehicles right now? So Mustangs, Mustangs, Camaros, F-150s, Camaros. Basically anything with a 10 speed. Any, any 10 speed rear drive, both GM and Ford. Um, which is why it's kind of odd that we are into the gas game, but um, 
it's such a huge market and no one's attacking it. So this is one of the this is one, one of the R and D one of the R and D vehicles. And then behind us. So over here is our install bay. And so not only this is where if you get yourself a Suncoast transmission, come down, this is where it gets installed. We've also got a Dodge Magnum, which has the 722.6 transmission. Um, that'll be in all your SRT 8 products and your LX chassis. So stuff for Trackhawks and stuff too? Yep, uh, there's Trackhawk action sitting outside. Um, so doing more gas testing. Uh, we've been making them for years. Um, we're getting back into them heavy again. Out here, a couple more of our... Uh, couple more, couple more test vehicles? Yeah. Gas vehicles? More 10-speed stuff. Um, I'll let the uh, commenters down below tell us which one they like better. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter much to me. So, here we have a ZL1. This has full Suncoast built transmission and a bolt-together multi-clutch torque converter. Um, so is this one of the, you said that this was one of the first 10 speeds? With a, yeah, this is one, this is the first 10 speed um, that we did a, uh, a bolt together in the GM platform. Um, this has a huge, this has a huge build going on in it. Um, we actually did make more power and torque with just a transmission rebuild and torque converter change. Um, gotcha. We've also raised stall a bunch um, so it's kind of cool to work with someone locally um, where hey, we can start apparently he has stuff. a YouTube channel he what's does? his name <laughs> daily ZL1 hey Steve Steve go follow Steve go follow Steve's YouTube if you want to see ZL1 stuff what were the gotcha. numbers when we when you did just the torque converter change increase uh, over stock stock converter and trans it was 552 horsepower and when we Put your guys stuff in we made uh, 561 and total gains from uh, stock looks 9 to 10 horsepower and about 35 foot pounds of torque and obviously the increase. capacity to hold the future yeah so the reason the reason that it was built stock because that's what a lot of people ask why did you put a converter and a transmission in a stock car because this car is going to get built and the transmission is not going to hold up through dyno testing after the engine yeah. build Gotcha. And what's up with the Mustang? So, also 10 speed. Um, we're very blessed to be working with our local Ford dealer. Um, this actually belongs to them. Um, oh, how and, nice. <laughs> and they're also, they're also a Skeeta dealer, which is where Ron's car was bought through. Um, this is a personal car of, of one of the employees. He likes drag racing, he likes speeding, and he likes testing. Um, you know, really know your product. So. More 10 speed testing. We're doing stator um, stuff in it now, uh, trying to raise the stall. Um, that's kind of the beauty of the bolt together, yeah. which we saw earlier. And then this one is also R and this one's R and D. Yeah. So every 68 we build that gets sent out gets put in this truck first. Oh, really? Every single one gets put in this truck first. Uh, it's on motor plate number four now from having transmissions in and out of it so much. So you're, every single 68 that gets every built? Every 68 goes in this truck, gets street driven. And gets usually, tested? And then gets gets tested, checked, gets some miles on it so that when the customer installs it, it is ready to go. Gotcha. Beautiful looking truck down here. That's a customer down in Miami. So that was just building number one. That was building number one. That was building number one. So that, so that stores all of the machine all the, shop, all the finished goods, finished goods. goods. Building number two. That's uh, that's our own proprietary blend of fluid that um, we have made. Transmission fluid. Transmission fluid that we um, that goes in every truck that that leaves our rack. We use our our own. This is more core. Core land. Core land. Some raw material land. Ooh. What's that? Uh, toys. <laughs> What's that's Ron's that? Toy storage? This is Ron's 68 Camaro he's had since he was 15. Um, this is his son, Jerry, the converter builder. This is his 64. And this is the Endeavor. This was built, uh, the test 68s 
way back a long time ago to try to push the 68s. So this is a uh, both an office and it's mostly our our conference room. But oh, is this for the? Uh... This is where all the classes that we that we do. Oh, okay. This room was basically built to, to teach people how to build transmissions and converter theory and all that. Sweet. So this is our R&D room, which if you come to one of our wow. classes, this is where you'll be learning. But wow. the rest of the year, this is where we tear down brand new transmissions um, and, and learn about all these new transmissions. That's kind of what this is for. You can see a 10 speed back there with a homemade manifold for checking oil passages. Wow. This is quite the... Uh... We also, this is where uh, Brian Carter builds all the 4748 valve bodies. Gotcha. And then we dyno them over here. Uh, he's not in, but Gene. This is his office back there. Uh, if you call in and you have tech, either him or Ernie will handle it. Tech in R&D land? Yep. Wow. Some of our billet separators. Ooh. Our, our billet valve bodies. Oh. Ooh, baby. So actually, I'm gonna grab a part from our 68 Mega. Um, there's a lot of neat stuff in this, but one of the coolest things is the process in which we end up with this part because it starts as raw stock next door, which will go to where it actually starts as raw material. Then it gets machined partially, then it gets anodized, and then it has to get machined again. But the real cool thing about this is it never leaves our parking lot and I'll show you that how that process works so next door here at National Aluminum we're actually cutting some eight inch stock now eight eight and a quarter which is what this starts out as so it'll come get cut there get put on a pallet They'll pick it up next door, take it over to the machine shop, um, get it almost finished. Then we add a hard, an hard anodizing um, so the teeth don't dig in. This is mm. actually an earlier round. Then it has to get anodized. So you got the machine shop, or the, I'm sorry, the, the uh, <laughs> you got the metal supplier right on. Right on site. Right on site. Um, they're here mainly to supply us because we had such a high demand. Um, it just made sense for them to be in-house. Through door number three. <laughs> Ooh, it's bright outside. So then these get put on a cart, still no shipping. And it gets brought over here to our anodizer. So all these guys do is anodizing? Yeah, mostly aerospace stuff. Um, so you got anodizing, aluminum supply house, metal supply, all right connected. All in the same parking lot, so we don't really ship anything. It just stays on, on property. Um, we're going to have the highest quality control. We can also make changes fast without it being an issue um, yeah. or needing to get material. You just walk down here and yell at somebody? Yeah, best to, you know, maybe have some paperwork so you can validate yelling at somebody. <laughs> Wow. Who knew Suncoast was this big? Well, when you start from 1989, um, this is this is this is how it grows. If you want to show over here, this is more cores. That's all cores. All core parts for for various transmissions and torque converter parts. Because it's not just diesel stuff. Now it's now it's. Now it's gas. Diesel, diesel and all three uh, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge, and yeah. and gas stuff. Yeah. So, on our so back in our back in our main building, this is I guess this is considered the, still the main building. Yep. So we got a bunch of it's all built park kits and stuff over here. Yep. Then we package it up. 
Got all our own boxes made. This is our parts crib. This is where we can order parts. They'll get sent out of here. And then from, from there, goes to a pallet and right where we started, Look at that. It shipped out. Full roundhouse out the door. Alrighty guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up the first video down here at Suncoast. Just giving you guys a basic overview rundown of the facility and everything they got going on here. Uh, in the next upcoming video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the process of everything that goes into making the converters that come out of here. This place, I'm telling you, this place is crazy. It's huge. Uh, so we're going to be building our own converter, new converter for the first gen, getting hands on, checking everything out. Uh, there is a ton of work, cool information just a lot of stuff coming this is basically just the first overview one stay tuned for the next one i will see you guys tomorrow see ya